Alright folks, this is going to be a video response to Mini War Gaming's $300, $350 shopping spree. Um, go to their site, check them out, they got some good stuff. And uh, maybe you could win the $350 shopping spree at their online store. Go to this video, they'll win a $350 shopping spree to uh, learn more. Hello YouTubers, long time no see I know. Um, project I've been working on here, it's an idea. The uh, I recently won a battle against a troll player that I've never beaten so I thought I'll make a marker to commiserate that and I've got what I tried to shape as a piece of foam into the krell stone that the krell stone bearer carries. Didn't work quite as well as I'd wanted, but I think I could argue that it's a marred piece of stone. And then the Kadoran Iron Fang Pikeman shield in there. And then I had an extra pike from another model, and I put a troll blood warrior head on it to uh, say that they're leaving this in their passing, like uh, an invading army just said, uh, "Screw you." And, and here's your stone and all the good it did this warrior and here's his head on a pike um, it's part of the gnarls league where you can make bases and objective markers I don't have a medium base I apparently need to go order some more but that was the idea that I've gotten so far and it's a beautiful 70 degree day in February here at my home here is part of my yardage that should be left uh, well, it's green, the trees are, you know, it's supposedly winter, air quotes right there. But at any rate, um, that, that's my yard. And I thought since it is so pretty out here today, I will bring you outside and show you the yard. Uh, we had snow, believe it or not, on Sunday. Today is Thursday. I had to think about that for a minute. Uh, but as you can tell, the snow is gone and it is now 70 degrees. And as the wind chime behind me was telling, it is a little bit breezy. But again, this is the current project. Um, more to come. This is my current mini that I'm thinking about trying to get painted up. This is Harkovich. I've probably showed you him before. I don't know how well the uh, red's going to show up out here in the sun. I've just put one coat on him. I haven't done anything else to him yet. Uh, but I was gonna, I'm trying some of the, uh, I'm going to try some of the Reaper paints, the reds, and see how those turn out. The metals I already like. This one doesn't have any metal work done on him. It's just a pretty much all black. He's not really, other than a little bit of flesh. Uh, it's a little blurry there, I'm sorry. But that's, uh, that's his flesh color. That's his little bit of face there behind his beard is about all that's ever going to be painted flesh because he's a Kadoran and they wear armor and they're awesome this guy won me two battles the other day I was playing against a Crix army in the Gnarls League we ran a uh, the black spot scenario and he killed both scars because the other guy ran P scar and then epic scar he killed them both or at least his army did. And I really like how Harkovich plays. I, I think he is one of the more balanced approach casters. He can get his models there and have some firepower behind him, or he can just shoot from afar. I apologize for the wind chime. It doesn't want to cooperate with me filming today. Again, the yard. My driveway that when it snows, you can't get up it if it is icy because it is slick in a hill anyway any rate that's Harkovich um, his weapon right here uh, these slots I don't know if they're gonna show up really well but these slots right here I want to put a, uh, a glow in there and since Cador is mainly a red army anyway I would like to put a different kind of glow in here. Now, green is for cricks, because obviously their souls and all their artwork is green. Um, I've seen some blue, icy-type glows in these weapons. Um, 
I am open to suggestions. If anybody has a good tutorial link on how to put glows inside of slots such as that, or in his boiler back here, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, a couple shout outs. Uh, check out D6's channel. He's doing some new stuff. Um, I believe he's doing a Project Cador here pretty soon. And also, you might want to check out uh, the Dismo. If you haven't, he is back up and running at least a little bit. He and I have both been on kind of a painting and video making hiatus. We've both been into Star Wars. It's an awesome game. Uh, beyond that, uh, there's there's one channel which I can't remember the name of right now, but Matt Matto 66 I think his name is. He put in a a uh, link to a guy's site that took the Signar battle engine and made it made the the orb glow, which I thought was really cool. At any rate, that's it for now, war gamers. Please keep on war gaming. Oh, one last thing. Check out uh, uh, Tin Man XL's uh, website, DiceRage.com. He's getting some stuff going there. And the Player's Handbook is another good site. I know they haven't had any videos off of late. I've been talking to uh, Rich, the guy that runs it. And they're supposed to be having some videos coming up, I would guess, within the next couple of months. Uh, have a good one.